This field that you see behind me, this is the tale of two stories. The green in the background is alfalfa that has been conventionally farmed on this land for the last 20 years at least. And in the foreground, you see wood chips that are being spread slowly, load by load, across this entire land. The reason we're doing this is to remediate this soil so that whatever is planted on here in the future, the trees, the, the, the bushes, the flowers, the edible foods, has an organic source from which it can draw nutrients. If you think about the way this has been farmed in the last 20 years, it's had nutrients pulled out of it in thousands and thousands of pounds of alfalfa, but nothing put back into it except for NPK liquid fertilizer at best, or at worst. So in spreading these wood chips, we then covered it last fall with a layer of manure from the neighbor's horse farm. Now contained within that manure, unbeknownst until this first spring rain, were the spores or the mycelium of the inky cap mushroom, the brother to the shaggy mane, the Caprinus micaceus. And this is an edible mushroom, but in this case, we're not really concerned with growing the mushroom. Yes, if we happen to get some, that's fine. But the intention behind this is about creating soil. The mushrooms and the fungi, their primary role in nature is to decompose organic matter and to turn it rapidly back into the soil. And by having the mycelial net of the Caprinus running through here is that we know that it's rapidly decomposing these wood chips, feeding the ground underneath and creating fertile soil. You can very easily, very low tech, spread the mycelium or the spores in this case around to hopefully start a mycelial net. Now here in this cluster you can get an idea of the, the very rapid life cycle of these. Uh, this one for example is uh, at the end of its life cycle and you can see on the on the cover it has these white um, this is where it gets its name, the micacea, these mica flakes on the top of it. But you can see this one is turning dark inside and just about ready to sporulate. And this is what we're after today in this one. Also in here you can see what, where they get their name, the inky cap. This uh, pile here, for example, rapidly auto-digests itself after it sporulates and turns into this black, uh, thick ink hence the name Inky Caps. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk this field with my bucket and I'm going to find a few handfuls of these mushrooms and I'm going to drop them in the bucket and mix them in with water. What I'm looking for are the ones that where the, the spores are starting to come out and these where they're dark, where the caps start to flatten out and they're dropping spores. Because what's going to end up in this bucket in the next 24 hours is billions and billions of spores that we're then going to put into an area where these mushrooms aren't growing. And by the way, you can do this with any beneficial species that you want to try to transplant uh, somewhere else to start rapidly breaking down the organic matter into the soil. So I'm just going to look for... Uh, mushrooms like this. This one, for example... You can see that cap is flattening out and obviously it's got the inky look to it. So I'm just going to take that, drop it in my bucket, or grab a few more handfuls and then we'll put our water in. Twenty-four hours later and here's our bucket of billions of Caprinus spores and we are going to dump this bucket essentially into this uh, spot of wood chips and inoculate it with the spores and hopefully get it to spread out through here. This area does not have any growth of the caprinus and so we're trying to basically just move it over here and get it to break down this soil. I'm going to take an area about six feet by six feet. I'm going to rake off the top three inches or so. This is about six inches deep on wood chips. Rake off the top three inches evenly distribute the spore water and then cover it back up so that it can stay moist in there and hopefully start its growing. So one year ago in this exact spot is where we made our spore slurry of these caprinus mushrooms, these inky caps, and these were all new wood chips in this section of the field and only in the spot where we 
spread the spore slurry of these coprinas popping up and I've yet to find them anywhere else. You can see how this mycelium is growing on these wood chips and decomposing them to feed the soil beneath. So for as simple as it was and as little effort as it was to soak a bunch of these in a bucket of water and cast them over some wood chips, it was definitely worth it. Now this one right here, we could repeat the process and put it into another pile of wood chips.